When I tell you I just added everything in my cart, like I'm not lying, we have three boxes to go through. So grab yourself a coffee, wine, whatever you please, tea, a snack, because we have a lot of items that we need to get through. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are doing another spring Zara haul. When I say another, because I've done one probably a month ago, I think. Maybe less than that, maybe more than that, I'm not sure. But I have already done a winter transition into spring Zara haul a few weeks ago. But this one is, I feel like, a little bit more spring. There's not that many wintry items. If anything, there are a couple of like summery items. So without me rambling on, let's just start. We're going to start off with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous neon cardigan that I know. I know. I'm as surprised as you are. What? I'm wearing neon. I'm wearing color. It's just... I know but I just couldn't not get it and the selling point for me besides the fact that you guys know how much I love love um, a knitted um, fabric no that's not correct <laughs> besides the fact that I absolutely love knit anything it's just this diamonds on it like these buttons just sold it for me honestly they're not the best quality they're coming a little bit loose already even though it's not tight on me but just start pulling so just be careful with that um i'm gonna have my mom make them a little bit stronger so they don't fall because if they fall then i'm gonna be very upset absolutely stunning i'm in love with it it's neon i know it's not my color i know it's a little bit too bright for me but I'm loving it and I'm here for it. Um, just like all my other hauls, I am gonna show you guys the items on me. We're gonna try them on, but it's not gonna be a styling video. Um, the items that I tell you guys that I'm keeping, you're gonna see me styling them on my Instagram, just like all my other hauls. So I'm gonna leave my Instagram handle here for you guys. Just make sure you follow me over there as well. Per you guys' request, I'm gonna mention what size I got and how much the price of the item is. So many people ask me, they wanna know how much the price is instead of going um, in the description box below, finding the link and all of that. So while I'm showing you guys the item, I'm gonna mention what size I got and how much the price was. I don't have the tag of this one because I have already worn it last week, but I'm just looking at the website. So I got this in a size large and I got it for $39.90. Let me show you guys this um, cardigan in the mirror and then we'll move on to the next items. I know in my previous vlog, I told you guys yellow is not my color, but it's just, I love neat. I love blingy things and I feel like this is very, very, very gorgeous. Um, I wore this last weekend and everybody was asking me like, where is it from? And like, it's just a favorite of so many people and I fell in love with it. If I'm not mistaken, they have the purple color of this one as well or something very similar to it. But um, this yellow one just, it's just gorgeous. So obviously this is staying. Another neon color that I'm literally obsessed with it. I wore this last weekend as well. I'm literally obsessed with the color, with the design, everything of it. Um, I got this in a size large and because I don't have the tag of it, let me look at how much the price was. Uh, because as I said, I have already worn it and took the tag off. Um, $35.90 um, and can we round it up, please? I'm gonna round up everything. We're not gonna go based off of the cents. Um, so this was $36 and um, I absolutely love it. It's a little bit short on me because it's a little bit small on me. So it's straight, because obviously the fabric is stretchy, it stretches out and makes it a little, little bit shorter. But because I always wear high-waisted pants or high-waisted jeans, high-waisted skirt, and I always tuck in everything, it's just not as bad, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love this wrap detailing of it. This wrap detail is very much in this season, either on crop tops, dresses, 
dresses even most of the dresses that i saw they have like the sides are um like there's no fabric on this side and it has like these laces going in um so i'm really really obsessed with this i love the color i love the fact that this can be even a summer piece i know it's needed but it's not heavy and it can be like a wrap you wear on top of your crop top if you're a little bit like cold at night um, I just feel like this is not only a spring kind of vibe, it can be a summer kind of vibe as well. I always try on all my um, tops with my um, Express jeans, but I was like, since it's spring, let's just try it on with this very, very cute um, H&M jeans. Absolutely love, love, love the color. Like, it's super soft. And I would say the arms are towards a little bit smaller, just keep that in mind. But obviously, because they're stretchy, they stretch out. Um, and this tie around is a pretty, like, long so I've never like I don't have an issue wrapping it all around um, so obviously this is staying as well because it's just the color is perfection the next item is this short sleeve top that is not heavy but it is again like the sweater material and it's in this beautiful navy color I'm not the biggest fan of navy I'm sure you guys know that by now I just don't like cold colors and navy gray like some purples are a little bit cold um, I got this in a size large and it was $40 um, this seems a little bit small to me I love the fact that it has the sleeves you guys know I'm a big fan of like short sleeves uh, because my arms are the part of me that I'm not very like comfortable with and I'm very sorry about the Sun going in and coming out because it's one of the grayest day ever and the Sun keeps just playing with us and the color will change throughout the video um, but just a heads up on that but yeah back to the top very very cute I love this like design Zara had a lot of like dresses tops and even like bodysuit that they had this extra um what is it called collar thing on it i'm not sure what are they called uh, but i was like this would look very cute with jeans maybe even with white jeans and i was like let's just give it a try and see how it will look on me i honestly don't know how i feel about this it's a little bit uncomfortable if you're being honest it's a little bit too tight and it's not one of those comfortable tops that i feel like i'm gonna reach for but it is very very cute i feel like this like top section adds a very cute characteristic to it i absolutely love the length of the arm but it is very very tight and i feel like it's not going to be something that i'm going to reach for a lot um so yeah probably this will be a return because as i said it's very very as you guys can see like it's very tight and not the most comfortable top besides that it's very cute the next item is this sweater that um I'm gonna try to not be offensive when I'm describing things, but this reminds me of a table runner that my grandma had. It was very chic as a home decor, but I don't think I like the color of it on this. The design I really like, like how it is I really like, but the fabric of it and the color is not something that I'm very much into it basically and again this is another cold color in my opinion but i have to wear it and see how it looks on me um i feel like now that i have a tan on it might not look as bad but i'm gonna try it on i'm not the biggest fan of the fabric if we are being honest um if it was in white i would have liked it a little bit more or like a nudish color but in this color i'm not the biggest fan of it and i got this in a size large again um and it was 40 if i'm being honest i really don't know if i like this or not i don't like the color but i really like the design of it if this was in white it would have been like my absolute dream top um for spring but um yeah I'm not loving the color, uh, but it's a very, very cute top, super soft, super lightweight. I feel like this is perfection for actually springtime that is not heavy. It still has that like knitted look, but it's not heavy. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is going to stay because I'm not the biggest fan of the color. I generally don't like cold colors and I feel like this is like a blue towards gray and it's a little bit cold for my liking besides that it's a very beautiful like design I'm sure you guys all have been waiting for a white color and here it is it's a very cute top um, with 
semi it's not a long sleeve but it's not like completely short either i think it's gonna come up to here and then it again has this extra like color bit on it that i'm like a huge fan of it just looks very cute this comes again ties in the front just like the other sweater that i showed you guys the um, navy one but i have to wear it and see how it looks on me but it seems like that it's gonna be one of those very comfortable um tops it has an elastic on the bottom which personally most of the times i'm not the biggest fan of because sometimes it makes it look baggy and i just don't like that uh, but we'll try this on and i will let you guys know what i think of it i got this in again size large and it was the 36 dollars this is not a favorite either um i just don't like how it sits on me i really like this top section and like this design it's gorgeous but i don't like all this ruching and like ruffles and stuff i wish this was on top of a more of a like a snugger um kind of feet but it is one of those tops that are like extremely comfortable you can just wear it with jeans white jeans and like even skirts and if we look great i love the length of this sleeve you guys know i love short sleeves and it just looks very sophisticated but i personally don't like it on me it has this elastic on the bottom so it like cinches it in it's not like too loose and baggy uh, but it's gonna be a pass for me then we have this very simple um t-shirt looking top um, obviously went with a baby pink it has a little bit of detail on the sleeve um, this seems very small and probably it's one of those fabrics that is very see-through I got this in an extra large and it was $12.90 which is like just fantastic for an everyday wear uh, but this seems a little bit small on me even though it's stretchy but the material is so thin that I feel like if it stretches out it wouldn't look flattering uh, but we'll try it on and I'll let you guys know what I think of it it is such a beautiful color like i really really like that color but unfortunately this is tight on me it's like pulling from everywhere and it's just not comfortable it doesn't sit right i love the details on the sleeve and i don't think they even had a size larger than this i think this was the biggest size um so sadly this is going back because it's a little bit too tight on me um and it just doesn't look flattering we have a bodysuit that I just I just love Zara bodysuits, honestly. They're really good quality in my opinion. I have bodysuits, you know the classic ones that they have, um, that everyone has it, I think. Um, I have it in a nude and a black. Like I wore them a lot last year and I feel like I'm gonna get the wear out of them this year as well. I just love bodysuits with cardigans. It's just they're easy, comfortable, you can style them. And I saw this that had a little bit of a twist to it basically. Um, it's sideways and not too much but just a little bit it has one strap on one side and two on the other side um i got this in a size large and it was 20 dollars so zara's bodysuits are generally speaking pretty inexpensive the simple ones uh this seems a little bit small but i'm gonna try it on and I'll let you guys know what i think of it um it's like rib material pretty stretchy um but it's a very thin material so it might fit me but it might not look very flattering on me um and obviously the color my perfect rosy nude that i'm literally obsessed with i really like how the top of this fits but it's too tight on me like i feel like i can't like breathe here like can you guys see how much it's putting pressure <laughs> like it doesn't look flattering at all i'm gonna see if they have a bigger size of this then i'll order a bigger size but i don't think they had i think this was the biggest size uh, but um yeah i didn't even change my bra i have my bra underneath but probably i would have worn this with a strapless bra just to make sure the bands don't show but it is a very very cute design um but sadly it's a little bit too tight on me like can you guys see i mean it's the pants too probably with my high waist these pants are a little bit too tight on me um it's my first time wearing them so they need to stretch out a little bit if i was wearing them with my express jeans probably it would have looked better um, I'm gonna try on with those and in the description box below I'm gonna let you guys know if I kept it or not, but um, It's a very very cute bodysuit and I feel like it's perfect for um, My liking like the color is just absolutely dreamy. The next bodysuit is something that probably I'm not gonna like it on me. It's again a ribbed material bodysuit. This one is in white. I got this in a size large and it was $20 as well. Um, this has this little cutout in the front of it. Um, it's a little bit 
in my opinion more sporty than glam and um, of y'all know I'm more of a glam kind of person than sporty but you know sometimes on a day-to-day -day basis if it's comfortable I like to wear stuff like this uh, but this seems like this is gonna be small on me because it's very very small um, yeah Zara sometimes their sizing is just out of this world but yeah probably this will be small on me but i'm gonna try it on and i will let you guys know what i think of it this one is a little bit of a thicker material compared to the other one but i feel like because it was white they had to use a thicker material if not it would have been very see-through uh, but yeah this seems like it's gonna be a little bit small on me i totally did that lazy thing of not um closing the bodysuit from the underneath um it's just that that takes too much effort and i'm not dedicated enough for that uh, but again this one just like the other bodysuit um because my pants are really tight it's pushing and it seems really tight honestly this section is really tight as well so as much as i love this but it's gotta go back because it's just too tight on me even though it's not too expensive but i don't want to keep something that i know i'm not gonna reach for a lot I'm not the biggest fan of this style basically we have few dresses next um the first one is this white ribbed material material dress that it was like very modern looking and i just really like the design of it um honestly holding it up will not do it justice because it has so many straps so basically it straps goes back and then it has a crisscross in the front and then for an unknown reason it has two different material belts um I don't know how am I gonna style that but this seems like it's gonna be small on me I can tell already it has two long slits on each side uh, but um, yeah this is probably gonna be small on me it's a very beautiful beautiful dress but uh, um, it's the ribbon materials there is a hit and miss with them most of the times they run small and just because they're stretchy and they fit you doesn't mean they look flattering in my opinion um, but yeah I just thought i'll give this a try it has little buttons i don't know if you guys can see next to the um, straps that looks very cute just as an extra bit um but yeah the model was not per regular programming zara models were not selling it to me so i was like let me just order it for it to come home i'm gonna try it on and see how i like it but can you guys see it's already you can see the zara logo here so that means like it's just gonna be very see-through uh, but it was a very cute and like a modern looking dress that i had to give it a try i got this dress in a size large and it was 40 dollars to be honest with you, I have no idea what is happening with this dress. Um, to begin with, it's very, very tight, this area. You guys can see it, so that's the one thing. Second, the belt, I don't know how to tie them. The model tied it, like, hanging from in the middle. It just was a complicated situation. And then the top um, doesn't sit correctly. I have to bring it a lot lower than this for this to sit correct. Um, again, I didn't change my bra, but, like... You get the idea um it's just i wish it could work for me but unfortunately this is this does not work for me it's just too tight not looking flattering and i really wanted this dress to work <laughs> can you guys see how disappointed i am because it's just so cute i really really, really like it I mean, a little bit complicated in the belt department but overall it's a very cute dress but yeah, sadly this needs to go back because it just doesn't look good on me. The next one I am honestly not the biggest fan of, fan of and I don't even know why I got it. But I was like, let me just give it a try. It can be an easy everyday dress um, for fall, not fall. Why did I say fall <laughs> for spring and summer? Um, you guys know I love, love, love wearing dresses. It's just, they're easy, comfortable. Um, so it's like this pink dress with stripes. It has red, gray, and navy stripes. Um, the front is simple, like it's just directly goes to the back and the back has a little bit more detail. Um, it's not stretchy at, at all so i feel like the waist area will be a little bit small on me but i'm gonna try it on and let you guys know it goes down all the way down like it's pretty much not maxi but like probably like a midi like around my ankle um and super lightweight and i got this in a size large and it was 50 dollar um but yeah I'm not sure how I feel about this. I just don't like the color combo 
um, and it's just stripes are a little bit iffy for me this dress is a no obviously because this area like i cannot breathe anymore i just want to try it on so i can show it to you guys how it looks um very cute design it would have been a very gorgeous summer dress but i cannot breathe literally i cannot breathe that's how tight this is so sadly this needs to go back as well then we have this dress that like basically i feel like this was just this was the dress that inspired all of these items because this was the first item that I saw on the website and I just fell in love with this top section. Like how adorable is this? Like I'm in love with this fabric. You guys know how much I love this embroidery fabric. It just has a puffy sleeves, puffy um, skirt, everything is just gorgeous. It even has this extra organza inside for an extra puff, not only on sleeves, but it already has it on the skirt as well. So that might be a little bit scary. <laughs> so I have to try it on and see how I feel about it. Uh, but holding it up, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. You guys know how much I love white dresses. They just work fantastic um, during um, spring and summer. I just have to see that if it looks good on me with that extra puff because I already have like big hips. So sometimes they don't look the best. And I love the fact that it is short sleeve. Um, it's just everything I can ask for in a dr dress and more. I wish it didn't have that extra fabric underneath because I'm pretty sure that's gonna make it look even a little bit more puffy. Um, I forgot to tell you guys what size I got this in. I got it in a size large and it was $50. I know it doesn't look flattering whatsoever. Like it's poofy, it's extra and all of that. And uh, it can look a little bit, I'm so sorry if I'm offending anyone, but it looks a little bit too country. Uh, but I really like this top detail and I love this just the fabric and everything it's just I wish it didn't have that extra organza on the bottom why do we have that like to make it extra poofy it already is poofy I don't know I just love everything about it but um, yeah it just doesn't look flattering on me and I feel like it's a little bit too country i don't know i might change my mind on keeping this or returning this um i will let you guys know in the description box below if i decided to keep this um because it's just very cute i'm not sure if i thought i'm royalty <laughs> but i just needed this in my life how adorable you guys won't be able to say it how adorable is this blazer and the royalty part is not the blazer it's the matching skirts that comes with it i mean you have to buy them separately they don't come together but they're basically a matching separate um i am literally obsessed with this color obsessed with this design the gold detailing on it it's just everything is stunning um this blazer i got it in two sizes i first ordered the large and it came and it was extremely small so then i ordered the double xl because it's not stretchy at all I got confused for a second i was like i remember i got 2xl but no i got large first and it didn't fit me then i ordered the extra large and i got this for 90 dollars. so it's pretty expensive but zara blazer i'll just basically known i'm just not a blazer person usually um this one i love because it has that gold detail and it's crop but generally speaking i'm not the biggest fan of blazers i just don't like them on me uh, but this one I just couldn't pass up on it, especially with the skirt. I really, really, really like it and I love that it's short sleeve. It's just very chic and sophisticated. This is a crop, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's a crop blazer. And in the skirt, I got 2XL and it was $70. I'm obsessed with this skirt. It's a pencil skirt. It has this like gold detailing on top and the buttons. It has a little bit of an opening uh, for it to be more comfortable walking it has pockets it's just gorgeous um for some reason this actually fits me really nicely it has it's not stretchy at all but it has that cinched in waist and the sides are a little bit like curvier which literally my body's like like formed like that so it, this sits really well on me we're gonna try them on together so you guys can see the full effect of it I am obsessed with this <laughs> like literally obsessed with it but probably I'm not gonna wear them together because this just looks like I'm going to a royal family dinner or something in my personal opinion there are some people that can absolutely rock this look but I don't think I'm that person 
I love the jacket separately and I love the skirt separately. I feel like the skirt with like a white top or even a baby pink top um, will look absolutely stunning. And the jacket with like a bodysuit and denim will look fantastic, but I don't think together I'm gonna be able to rock them. I'm just not that person, um, but I'm just obsessed with this set. You never know, maybe one day I decided to feel like a royalty and I wore them together. Um, but um, I'm gonna keep both of them, but probably I'm gonna style them separately, but just I'm obsessed with it, like loving the pink like this season. The next set that I'm literally madly in love with it. If you guys watched any of my um, last year's spring and summer hauls, you guys saw how obsessed I am with linen and I blame Lydia for it because she loves linen and I love her fashion sense and I started buying linen and I'm not sure if this is full linen but it feels like a linen. I honestly don't know. But it is again another set. This is a crop top of it. It's a shirt crop top and it's just so beautiful. I love the color. I love the design. I just fell in love with it. I got the top in a size extra large and it was $70 and I'm just obsessed with it. It has an elastic in the back so it just sits really nicely. Um, it is a long sleeve but you can just open these buttons and pull it up if you want to make it short, short sleeve. It's just gorgeous. And then it has a matching set but again just like the pink one you have to buy them separately and I'm obsessed with the skirt of this. I tried it on. So here is the skirt, the same material. This one is not stretchy at all again. It has a very high slit on the side. I just love, love, love this skirt. I wish it was just a little bit shorter because I'm really short and it, it looks a little bit long for me. But I can have my mom um, take a few inches from the bottom, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful skirt, super lightweight, and it's gonna be fantastic um, during spring and summer. You can wear them together, um, which I personally really like, but I love the fact that you can wear them separately as well and mix and match different tops and bottoms with them. I'm obsessed with this set literally obsessed with this set um it has obviously the slit on the side which is pretty high but honestly doesn't bother me i love this ruchings on the side i actually think the skirt looks flattering probably i'm gonna wear a shape wear underneath i'm not wearing any right now but probably i'm gonna wear a shape wear with it so it just sits a little bit better but i really like it and i don't mind it the fabric is just a dream for spring and summer you don't have to wear them separately, you can't you don't have to wear them together, you can wear them separately. I love 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 it. I feel like this skirt with a white top, black top will look just phenomenal and this top with like um jeans, my express jeans will look fantastic for like a relaxed look and then like gold jewelry. I can already imagine how am I going to style this. It's just phenomenal. Love the fabric, love everything about this um matching separate. Um, I love when matching separates, you can wear them separately as well. Like when I envision it, then I know like I would be able to wear it. But this skirt is like perfection. Love, love, love this. The color is chef's kiss. That was all the clothing item. I only have two jewelry pieces that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, the first one is this very, very cute necklace that I wore with the pink top during the weekend. I'm sure you guys have already seen it on me. Um, this comes in a pack of two, but they're separately separate, which I personally love because I never wear silver jewelry. I mean, you never know. I was thinking with this set, um, this one, it will look very cute to layer both of this together because it has a gray undertone, but it's neutral, so the gold will bring out the warmth in it. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely fell in love with this necklace. This was $20 and I just love, love, love the combination of silver and gold. I don't think I have any jewelry that is like two-tone, um, so I was like, I need to have this in my life. It's just gorgeous. Of course, me being me and me being the lover of any kind of chunky jewelry, I had to get this. I absolutely fell in love with it. This was $20 as well. And this is pretty heavy. Um, I just love Zara necklaces. They do one of a kind necklaces. Um, so yeah, I really, really liked it. So I was like, let me just get it because even though I have millions of chunky necklaces, but just none of them have that extra ball at the end. So I need to I needed to have that in my life. So yeah. 
that is going to be the end of my Zara haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!